Hello everyone. In today's video, we will be proving the lifting the exponent level. It states that if we have integers a, b, m and n such that m raised to n divides a minus b, then m raised to n plus 1 divides a raised to m minus b raised to m. Note that m and n hold positive values. Now let's start proving the level. Well, because a minus b is a multiple of m raised to n, it is some integer times m raised to n. Let that integer be q, giving us the equation a minus b is equal to m raised to n times q. If we add b to both the sides of this equation, it changes to a is equal to b plus m raised to n times q. Now what if we raise both the sides to the power of m? Let's see what happens. To expand the RHS, we need a favor from the binomial theorem. To get that, a raised to m is equal to b raised to m plus m choose 1 into m raised to n times q into b raised to m minus 1 followed by m choose 2 into m raised to 2n into q squared multiplied by b raised to m minus 2 so on and so forth till we reach m choose m minus 1 into m raised to n into m minus 1 into q raised to m minus 1 into b and finally we end this by adding m raised to n m into q raised to m. Now what is m choose 1? It is simply m right? The number of ways of choosing one object from m distinct objects is simply m. If I replace m choose 1 by m and club this with the other n factors of n present, I can replace this by m raised to n plus 1. Because we are given that m and n hold positive values, n is greater than or equal to 1. It is quite evident that 2n is greater than or equal to 1 plus n. We simply need to add n to prove it. Thus, every following multiple of n becomes greater than 1 plus n as each of them is greater than 2n. So, what does this mean? This means that every term that follows the second term already has more than n plus 1 factors of m in them. For example, in the third term, we have 2n factors of m present. So, because 2n is greater than or equal to 1 plus n, even if we extract 1 plus n factors of m from the third term, it will leave behind m raised to an exponent which is non-negative since it is greater than 1 plus n. I hope you are understanding what I am trying to convey. Similarly, if we extract 1 plus n factors of uh, m from the last term, it will leave behind m raised to a non-negative exponent using the same logic. This implies that every other term leaving b raised to m is an integer multiple of m raised to n plus 1 since each of them has more than or equal to n plus 1 factors of m in them. For simplicity, let me rewrite this as m raised to n plus 1 into q dash where q dash is an integer. I know it is ironic but I can't help it. <laughs> now if I subtract b raised to m from both the sides, it is not difficult to see that we have proved the lifting the exponent level. 
This is because by definition, if a raised to m minus b raised to m is some integer times m raised to n plus 1, then m raised to n plus 1 must divide a raised to m minus b raised to m. And that is one way you can elevate the exponent of your device. <sighs> this was really exhausting, I bet. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up with any of your fingers, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel. Also, just for fun, you can try solving the following problem. It might look intimidating at the first glance, but it's quite simple once you know and implement the lifting the exponent lemma. So, bye-bye. <laughs>